everybody, and welcome to, this is a new little bit of a series, new show kind of thing, called You, Me, and the Brain. What this show is about is, when there's, ever, when there's whenever there's something that I think of, that I would like, you know, that, that that's either interesting or, um, or, or anything like that, or anything like that, that I, or, or just something I want to talk about, uh, then I'll, I'll put it on here, and, uh... You know, you'll guys be able to post your comments and other things like that. Uh, you know, share your uh, your stories related to if if I am talking talk, talk about a story, then you can relate. You can uh, post about your stories or, or whatever. Uh, yesterday, I or last night, I guess um, I was uh, on Facebook, and then uh, one of the guys that I follow on Facebook, um, Brian Barris. Uh, said that uh, his brother had died, and uh, you know, blah blah blah. You know, the whole th the whole spiel about uh, you know, and um, you know, that got me thinking about something that happened to me about um, six or seven years ago. Now it was the summer before high school. Let's go back a few more years before that, and uh, we'll we'll go back to a time when uh, my uncle said to me he was going to build me a go-kart because we we helped him fix up his house and things like that because he was he worked a lot so we went over there and we you know we drywalled the house and like that on, on on weekends and so he th so he thought you know i'll build i'll build your your son a go-kart and that'll be the way to repay you for all the work that you did so they built me the go he built me the go-kart got it loved it was enjoying it this is the summer of 2006, August 12th, 2006, uh, had some friends over, um, it was my one friend's birthday, and, uh, now I'm not gonna say names or anything like that, cause I don't really have permission to say names from, uh, you know, families and things like that, or from them at all, so I gotta, just gotta, you know, okay, the way my house is laid out is, um, we got... 10 feet from the road, I think it is, and then we got about uh, 5 feet on this one side of the house, and then 20, 30, 40 feet on the other side of the house, uh, and then the backyard is 50, 60 feet or something like that, don't, don't quote me on those numbers, but yeah, so we were, you know, we would ride the go-kart around the house, because we were like, I was 14 at the time, we weren't old enough to, you know, ride the thing on the road or, or anything like that, so... I, uh, so we would, we would just ride around the, the yard, we, I think we were doing three laps, switch, three laps, switch, three laps, switch, three laps, switch. So that went on for about, uh, half hour to an hour or so, and then, uh, my one friend went on, and, um, he went around twice, he was on his last lap at, uh, 426, uh, August 12th, 2006, uh, my friend uh, <clears throat> got just a little bit too close to the road uh, with the with the go-kart and um, there's a tractor coming and uh, <sighs> and he got basically ran over by the tractor um, you know, so yeah, he got ran over by the tractor, and, um, you know, it was right in front of the house, so it was basically, you know, he was coming around, and then all of a sudden we heard the motor quit on the go-kart, and then we just saw the tractor come across, across the driveway, um, uh, into the neighbor's yard, and then it flipped over. And while that's happening, we just see the go-kart rolling underneath the full grain um, bins that the tractor was carrying. Um, and my friend, of course, was there as well. And, uh, and I, you know, we called uh, the ambulance and things like that. There was like five or six cars that were just driving by. They stopped and they were, you know, ch they were ch checking on them. You know, I'm 14. Other friends were like 11 and 12 at that point, and uh, you know we just weren't, uh, you know we didn't know what to do. Um, but you know I, 
I kind of did, so I went in the house. Uh, my mother was cooking supper, and uh, you know, I told her blah blah blah. This, this happened, this happened, and then I went and I grabbed the phone and I, you know, I ran back outside, called nine nine one one myself, and then uh, you know, they came about, about between five and ten minutes later. They were out out the house, and uh, um, now he was basically dead at the scene um you know it's kind of you know how can you really survive from that um before I, I went into high school and you know what well what I wanted to talk about was you know um how I handled that and how it's affected me to the even to this day with how I've handled uh new problems that that, that have come up life um, which at some point I might, I might, I might get into, not in this video, but, you know, I went over to my friend's house, to my other friend's house that, that, that was there as well, we went over there and, uh, you know, we, we waited to hear what, what was going on, he was taken to, to, to the hospital, and, um, well, he was, he was dead, and, um, I, I kind of knew it already, so when, uh, so, so when we got the call saying that yes, they confirmed that he was dead, I wasn't really surprised at that point, you know. I just had this image burned into my memory of him laying there, you know, lifeless, uh, pretty much. And um, at first he was moving a little bit. I don't know if that was just muscle spasm or what, but that was, um, you know, that was a... Uh, a tragic event in my life that, you know, that's happened, you know, uh, most people, they lose their, you know, mo most people lose their family, which, it, which is terrible when you lose your family too. It's, you know, especially when it's not their time to go. That's, that's what makes it even harder. Um, you know, because he was, he was, he was turning 12. He wasn't, uh, you know, he wasn't ready to go yet. He, you know, he, he still, had lots of life to live yet, and, um, uh, you know, um, all right, so let's get on to how I handled this whole tragic event that happened. The way I handled it was, um, you know, to everyone, I, I was pretty... I seemed pretty calm. I wasn't, you know, the days after, I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't crying a lot or anything like that. You may think, oh, what kind of fucking person are you who's not crying, and, you know? But I think what I, you know, what I did was I, uh, you know, I just kind of masked it over and put it and put that memory um, of, of that happening away, even though I knew it happened and I could tell myself, yes, this did happen. I still took the memory part of it, uh, you know, the tragic event part of it, and I put it away somewhere where, you know, I wouldn't think about it, other than the fact that he was dead. Um, it was a... It was a really different time. Like, I was even talking to somebody yesterday about this, and... Uh, I was talking to, to somebody about this yesterday, and, uh, you know, he was saying, you know, I tried to talk to you about it, you know, I, I talked to your friend and your parents, and, you know, um, uh, his grandma, so, uh, the, my, my friend who died, his grandma, he was visiting his grandma at this point, you know, she lived, uh, two doors down, and, um, yeah, so, you know, he, he, he talked to those people and they all talked and, uh, you know, they all got it out and stuff. He said, but you didn't, you didn't, you didn't want to talk about it. And, uh, and yeah, I, I didn't, you know, I, I just wanted it to be over, I guess. Um, you know, but, um, that was just a really, I don't, <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, sort out my thoughts here. I'm just doing this willy-nilly, and then, you know, um, I guess I didn't, you know, with me, I just, um, 
if there's something I don't like, I just don't think about it, you know? Um, I, I, I've i grown up since then, of course. I was 14. And, you know, I've grown, I've grown up a lot since then, too. But even that day, that day defined how I would handle many other things between, you know, between then and now. And trust me, there's tons of stuff that's happened. Uh, and then even before there was another thing, an, an, another thing that happened too that I'm I'm not gonna get into today. But you know it was, it got to that point where um, you know, um, like within the past few months, it got to the point where I I had to change how I handled stuff because the way I was handling stuff was not healthy. Um, you know. Basically, everything that happened, I just put it away, put it away, put it away, didn't think about it, you know, just moved on, which is, which is kind of, kind of what you, what you have to do, but if you don't resolve those issues that you have, then, you know, they're just gonna, they're gonna stay there, and then whenever something else happens, it possibly could trigger that other thing that happened, and bring it back into the forefront, and then you're not just dealing with what's currently happened, you're dealing with what happened before. And this is what happened for years, you know, since since I was 14. And anything drastic that happened, that's pretty much what, you know, each time, you know, first it was him and then the, and the next thing uh, at once. And then it was the next thing, the previous thing, and him and, and my friend, you know. And then it just built up and built up and, and built up. Um, I still, I have even though I told you that that's how I dealt with it, I still don't know how I dealt with it. You know, um, with, with everything that's happened, it's just, um, you know, and that it's part of the, I guess it's part, part of the reason why I have low self-esteem issues, you know, um, with things that happen after that, which I'll get into, uh, another day, um, really brought my self-esteem down and I've, I've been on this, i for yesterday, I was talking to that to this other guy, and he said, "You know, you're you're making progress. You're you're getting better. You know, you're um, you're you seem happier than what you were a few months ago." And I am. I'm. I, I'm. I'm getting back. Like what you see now, still isn't really me. This isn't. It is me, but it's not. You know. Um, and I think I have to find myself again is one thing I have to do because back when I was 14, I lost who I was at that point because, you know, um, I had to grow up pretty quick back then, you know, to, um, as a part of, you know, putting that away. I just, you know, I grew up to deal with it and it's just, you know, it's a, it's a terrible thing th that happened and, um, uh, you know, just wanted to, to, to share that with everybody. Um, it's probably all fragmented, all the, all the fucking hell. When I, when I'm going to go, when I go to edit this, it's going to be, I'm going to be all over the place. But, um, yeah. If you guys have any stories that you want to share, uh, please post them in the comments below. Uh, I'll read every one of them. Um, I always read every comment I get. I never, uh, not, because... I, I always read comments because, um, you know, you're my audience. You subscribe because you like what I do and you care about what I do. So, you know, so, so, so since you're caring about what I do, I'm going to care about what you do. I'm going to, you know, um, I'm going to do anything that I can to, you know, make sure that you know, that you know that I appreciate the, the subscriptions, the likes, the the views, and all that stuff. Um, you know. And I guess that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching the first episode of You, Me, and the Brain. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.